good getting into Nantes. I haven't had exactly had the nicest of weeks last week. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I traveled to South Florida last week. Um, my home. I... I mean... The trip itself was fine getting there, that is. Finish installing Windows 10 add slash propaganda. This is the place. Unfortunately, they've rebranded. Sad. Yeah. But the reality of everything set in pretty quickly. I think the best way to describe it would be that I was there and when I arrived I entered into an alternate reality. The reality that my parents are dead. And I have very little family left. I was staying at my grandparents' house. Um, paternal grandparents, for reference. They are my father's parents, and I mean, they've lost two children in their lives already. Um, my father and my uncle. So, they're already down to one child. They're in their 90s. So, it's always slightly weird around them as a result. It's smoky. My grandparents' cat. He adopted them. At least when it comes to topics of my father or even my, later on my mother. But this time felt very different. Today's the ninth anniversary of my father's death, by the way. It's... It's strange. Every year, I have less memory of him at around the time of his death. I still have excellent visualization of his face. I don't even need to look at pictures to know exactly what he looks like. That's, that's my father. Picture in his dress blues from the Navy. And those are me down below. See, I used to have blonde hair. Alternately, see, I used to have hair. Uh, that was me when I was eight. That would have been five or six, I think. I don't think I look that much like my father. Other than maybe the nose. Nose looks kind of similar. I think that's my grandfather. I can see the resemblance between my father and grandfather, at least. But, don't know past that. I like the tie, though. Bye, Internet. See you tomorrow. Hope you're having a good kitten. Uh, the way his beard looks, um, his voice. I have recordings of his voice from my voicemails because I exported that when he passed. I don't need to hear them because I know what it sounds like. I see him in my dreams, I hear him in my dreams. But it's not quite right. Because he's older. Or younger, I should say. He's more the father that I remember that I was interacting with on a much more regular basis. Not just a random phone conversation here and there once or twice a week, but the person that I would be around when I was 17 and still living at home. 
And the same thing can be said of my mother now as well. To be fair, I barely saw her when she looked old. I mean, what? I had visited once while she was almost entirely gray? The entire rest of the time, she's only had gray streaks, and I mean, I have gray streaks in my beard for that matter. It's not that different. But I don't remember her at the, like, sitting there in the hospital. I can if I try to picture it. But otherwise, I remember her from, well, the other times that I visited Florida. So, when she was mid-60s and not late-60s. But that's not why this trip was particularly bothersome. The whole reason why I went down there was to deal with my mother's personal effects. Good kitten internet. Today is uh, the 11th of April. It's Monday. Um, this is my work setup. It's very, very expensive and impressive. So I've got work laptop, portable monitor, the most expensive part of all, a box. And in this little siding tray, I have my keyboard and trackball. Yeah, I also throw my tablet on there so I have anything personal to look at whatsoever or listen to. Yeah. But this is actually what I was here for. These are the photos from my mother's collection, at least some of them. There's an entire tote of them I haven't gone through yet. This picture here is actually what I came here for. It may not look like much. It looks like two boys and a girl. But this is the only picture that I knew of with my mom with two arms. My mom had cancer at the age of two and a half, and September of 1955 is when her left arm was amputated. Which means that this photo is from before then. There's a bandage on the arm, so I'm assuming it's maybe a month or two before then, but I don't know for sure. No one knows. I, I asked my mother long ago if she knew, and she obviously doesn't remember this. She doesn't remember ever having more than one arm. But these are... And I've actually found other photos now. This is just the only original that I've found. Although this is on a postcard and cut out from something. Um, not all of these photos are in the greatest condition, uh, for an example. This is a photo of me. You'll notice that there... I was in middle school. Um, you'll notice that there's something sticky here. The photo is actually melted partially onto the glass. And unfortunately, this is the only original that we have. So, of this size. There's smaller ones around. So, I'm going to be taking a lot of these photos to some type of photo restoration place to figure it out. Look, baby photos of me. Woo! I used to be so cute. Anyway, um, like I said, there's an entire tote full of other photos, but I've even already found things, so these are copies, uh, literal photocopies of photos that I think came from my mom's sister. I'm not actually sure, but you look closely. This looks an awful lot like the other photos, so I think this might have been taken at the same time, and that's my mom with two arms with a bandage. Uh, that would be one of her little brothers, and that would be my nana, my mom's mother. So, yeah, there's more photos here, although this is just, like I said, a photocopied piece of paper. I'm going to ask my mom's sister if she knows <clears throat> where that photo, where that original might be. She might have it, and I might be able to get a better digital copy of it. Then there's these. So... Over here, these are some of the larger frame pictures, and this one in particular is going to be a problem. This is very old. Um, I'm not actually sure, I mean, I know this is my mother's end of the family, but I'm not actually sure who any of these people are in this photo. Other than I believe my Nana might be one of the women in the back. Which means that this photo, and assuming that's the case, and not 
hey, look, my Nana's mother is one of the women in the back. This photo would have been taken in about 1930. But you can tell it's not in the greatest condition at all. And we're afraid that bringing this through airport security might be a problem because of the x-ray machine. So I'm probably going to have to mail some things, as much as I was trying to avoid that. Ugh. And then this is all of the stuff that I've gone through so far of my mother's. Um, it's a couple of boxes worth. Um, those are all the photo frames that we had, including some photos that I have questions about. I should bring these back in the house. Is it these? Yeah, it's these two. Because I think these frames are just... No, no. That's my mom, by the way. That would have been my mom in her 20s? Maybe late teens? Yeah. That's me when I used to play soccer. See, I really did have bleach blonde hair at one point. And this frame is actually one that I bought for my mom when I went to Disney World for the first time. And this is a picture of my mom's first wedding. So, yeah. Um, a lot of things. There's still a lot more to go through. And for reference, for all of the stuff that's around, this box here is the only box I'm probably going to be keeping anything out of. Everything else is being thrown out, given away, or needs to be shredded in the case of all those files. It's my mom was a pack rat. Like, that's surprising. I'm a digital pack rat. I'm sure she would have been if she had the ability. But, yeah, um, still going through things. I've, I haven't gone through the majority of things yet, but I went through the majority of the difficult things, at least. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on a moment. I forgot the most important part of this. Because how can I say good kitten internet without showing good kittens? So let me show you a kitten. This over here is Smokey. It's my grandparents' cat. He adopted them by just coming into the yard one day and never leaving. Well, he does leave. He walks out and about from time to time. But this is his yard. He stops other cats from entering. And because he stops other cats from entering, my grandparents decided to adopt him. He likes sleeping here or right over there, right on the floor, right along this side. He will sit here until my grandparents get back. They're currently at a doctor's appointment, so their vehicle's gone. Um, yeah. Smokey's a good kitten. Although... He keeps trying to jump into my grandmother's lap, and she doesn't like that because of claws. I've offered my lap, but he has not taken me up on my offer yet. But it's nap time, so I should leave him alone. Anyway, yeah. Um, lot of things still to do, and I'm just on my lunch break from work right now. But I only have one more tote left of things that I'm going to have to go through item by item on. Everything else is probably just going to be me quickly glancing through, see if, like, maybe grab one item out of an entire box and everything else gets dis donated. So, fun. It does make me sad that I'm getting rid of so much of my mom's stuff, because a lot of what I'm getting rid of are her cat statues.
which was the one thing that I specifically wanted, because that's her collection, and I grew up with that collection. There's a large number of cat statues. But I'm moving to Europe, and... Where would I put any of it? And am I really going to move it from down here in Florida back up to Madison and then move it again to Europe? I don't know. Anyway, um, it's been about eight and a half minutes, so I'll talk to you later. Bye, Internet. And... Like I said, it felt like I was going into a parallel universe. My grandparents were arguing with each other. Now... Keep in mind, grand my grandparents are in their 90s, and my grandfather hasn't been doing so great for a while now. But some of the things that they were saying bothered me quite a bit. I tried to not say it out loud or anything like that to make things even more com uncomfortable, because I was living there for a week and working from there for a week. That did not help anything. But... So many things to do when I get home. Sorry for the lack of vlogs. The whole reason why I was there was because of my mother's death. And here I am at my paternal grandparents' place right before the anniversary of my father's death. So death was heavily on the mind everywhere. Hi, Jake. Going through my mother's things was a trip down memory lane only with memories that I didn't have. I mean, not all of them. I definitely remember some of the pictures that were taken. I actually remember them being taken. Um, I remember seeing some of the things in my memory, in my mother's memories, that I don't necessarily remember it at the time, just because at the time it was created, just because I would have been born or being born but things like I remember seeing them around and so on and then there's my mother's memories I never knew about apparently she kept a journal um, she wasn't very good at actually updating it better than my father but not by a whole bunch um, good getting internet today is what's today 14th of April that's my dad. That's me. That's also my dad. I can see the pain in his eyes. Anyway. Ah! And I haven't read through everything, but what I've read through, plus what I've read through of my father's journaling... There's problems. One moment. What outside? And back because I heard a certain someone, this someone right here decided to use the litter box, except I heard the sound from the wrong direction. My house cleaners were being helpful and happened to have picked up some things that I'd probably knocked down while I was gone, put them into a drawer that was on the floor because that drawer doesn't have, uh, I need to repair the drawer. One of the sliders isn't working, but anyway, um, they put the clothes in the drawer and Zone decided that was his new litter box because I needed even more crap to deal with. So it's been almost an hour of me trying to clean up that stuff. <sighs> also lost two pair, uh, two particular items of clothing that are expensive and or difficult to replace. So that's fun. <sighs> anyway, where was I with my really crappy day or week existence, whatever? Right, so that week. I had to go through 
I'm right off. I had to go through my mother's things at my grandfather or grandparents' house while they were running commentary. Um, I was doing this after work each day. I took one day off because I figured I was going to need the time off, but unfortunately, that's when all the rest of the crap happened. I, I needed to be able to take a break because I knew things were going to be rough for me, and instead my break turned into things getting more difficult and even more stressful. I might have been exposed to COVID for that matter, so, you know, fun. Along with somebody taking three hours to eat dinner because I can't not constantly smoke constantly. <sighs> so the extra fun things I had to deal with was relating to my mother's house and my mother's life partner. My mother's life partner is suicidal, for reference. So is my grandfather, for that matter, because, you know... Why do things simply? Um, again, all of this while I'm also trying to work because I don't have enough days off. I don't have enough vacation days to actually take time off to do things. I hate living in the US so freaking much. This is actually considered relatively generous for an employer in the US. I have three weeks off a year for vacation. Having been employed at this place for a grand total of three months, I don't exactly have any vacation time built up. I needed all of it in order to be able to actually take any time off this year, to get married, and to move. So, instead of what appeared to be to a lot of people like, oh, you're taking a week off in Florida, it'll be nice, turned into eight days of utter hell. And I am so stressed out that... Today, I had to take a half day from, of work off because I wasn't functional for the first half. So I wasn't, I was going, it was getting worse. I'm, I'm not okay. And part of me is angry at my parents over it, which is really dumb. I mean, one's been gone for two and a half years, the other one's been gone for nine But I think the reason why I'm so angry at my parents right now is because of reading their respective journals. You know that whole trope on movies where the entire plot exists just because two people didn't actually talk to each other? And the entire movie would just ne never happened if two people who would have reason to talk to each other would have actually done it? Apparently, that was my entire parents' relationship. So, yeah, let's not go into too many details on that, but there is a possibility that my parents would not have gotten divorced and thereby me not losing a year of my memory because of their arguments, because I literally do not remember any of them, nor do I even have a memory of having a memory of them. So that's fun. All of that could have just not happened if they would have only talked to each other. All of that stress, all of that pain, all of that suffering on both of my parents' parts, plus my own part, plus the related family members' parts, because that was incredibly stressful for everybody involved. I mean, yeah, my parents probably would have gotten divorced eventually anyway, but maybe at a better time in their lives? My mother was talking about going back to school. She could have actually graduated with a degree and maybe not have been so heavily affected by the disability and illness that she was. Because she wouldn't have abused herself as much. She would have actually had a more positive attitude toward herself, which meant that she would have everything could have been different if they had only talked to each other. And the only reason why I even know about this is because I'm the only one to have read either of the journals. And I haven't even read all of it yet. 
just skimming. I'm upset. I'm angry. And I'm so emotionally exhausted that I am barely functional. So, apologies for the last video being a bit late, and this one's going to be a bit late too. I'll talk to you next time, Internet.